Yeah, wow, indeed. And we were just discussing, actually, because, of course, we, we, we watched Spurs on Monday night win. At, um, we watched Chelsea win at Spurs on, on Monday night, and he seemed a lot happier, more relaxed in that interview than he ever did having won the game on Monday. Why would that be? I think the, the challenge which they had today was, a, was a playing against a fantastic football team in Manchester City. And I feel like they will take probably more from this, the feeling of actually, you know, the result, knowing that they came up against this team, they went toe-to-toe -to -toe against them. It wasn't as if they sat back and just said, all right, we're going to take a beating here today. They went on the front foot, tried to get a result, and I think they deserved the draw in the end. What do you think he'll take from it, Jamie? Uh, I think the players more than anything. You know, the confidence that they can go up against the best team in the world, confidence in the manager as well, that they can, he can set them up in a certain way. And it's not just this game. Every big game is give the opposition problems, really. So, actually, they were the better team against Liverpool. They were the better team against Arsenal. And I think they were the better team today, if I'm being totally honest, uh, in terms of causing the opposition problems. Uh, so, I, I think there's a lot to feel good about what's going on at Chelsea in terms of starting off. We can go back to the ownership and how much money they've spent, but in terms of Pochettino right now and a young team, I think uh, there's a lot of optimism to going forward that they can compete with the best teams and they've got a manager who can compete with the best managers. So it feels like they're making progress without putting words in anyone's mouth. That's a feeling I'm get from, getting from you all. But as I said, it's 10 points, the gap to the top four. What do you think the targets will be this season? Keep fighting for Champions League. It's as simple as that. It's going to be tough. But after the last two games, it would give them confidence. Uh, what I think about this team is they've got courage because so many teams go behind against Man City and find no way back. They found a way back, they kept going and going, and they have quality. Let's have it right. Palmer and Sterling, OK, Jackson's not, not the best striker in the world, but it works hard for the team. If we were talking about the Liverpool one that had Salamane, uh, Firmino, Firmino was a great player on the ball. He didn't score as much as the other ones, but he had a role for the team. Jackson's role for this team might be pressing, and the goal scorers might be Palmer and Sterling. That's what they need to find out. But, but what if, Daniel, they keep getting points in these big games against the best sides, but still struggle to put the lesser sides, if you like, away here at Stamford Bridge? It's one win in 14 now here, and they end up finishing 10th, 9th. Well, look, we've got an international break to come. I'm sure the manager will be looking at all of the, the footage that he's, he's seen from his team and figuring out ways what the, what the issues were and what the solutions are to those problems in terms of facing lower blocks, in terms of facing teams that are very defensive. What type of things can we create with this, with this group of players that I have right now until maybe transfer windows come and they can bring in players that he wants to have that can instantly implement his style? But I think they'll want to try and find solutions to break those teams down, and I think they will as time goes on, because you can see when they play against the top clubs, they are performing and they are showing that they are capable. Can they force their way into that conversation this season, Champions I th League? I think they can, because we've got to remember how early it is. I mean, three or four weeks ago, you're right, Manchester United off for, you know, the top four. They're only four or five points We're off Almost it. a third. Almost a third way through. Yeah, I know. But, I mean, I think you'd expect Chelsea to get better with Pochettino in charge. I don't think they'll get top four. But should they still have a fight for it, even though they're ten points behind? I think so, yeah. I think you're not competing with, against the best teams in the league when you're going for top four. So, at times, they will drop points as well. You know, so it's not like a team going for a title more often than not win most weeks. So, that won't happen. You have saw, you know, this weekend, uh, you know, Newcastle have lost the game, Tottenham have lost, and I still think they'll be involved in a top four position. So, that will happen over that weekend. People in those positions will drop points, two or three of them will. So, yeah, listen, there's still a lot of fun. Do you look at that record, one win and 14, it's nowhere near good enough. But... There's certainly, in terms of, you know, Pochettino as a manager, he'd be the biggest thing that would make me believe that there can be some sort of challenge. But, the but the ult and that's the ultimate aim, really, here, with this level of investment, this huge recruitment project, is to be challenging for the biggest titles, the Premier League, Manchester City. How far away is that? I think it's a distance, but when you spend a big old billion, you know, you do want <laughs> you do want results maybe instantly. I think the fans here are used to winning trophies, challenging for titles, you know, the team entertaining them and potentially dominating against teams. And I think this season has been a lot more even game. So I do think they are a distance away from 
the former Chelsea that they were, you know, winning titles and all those things. But it's a work in progress with a young group of players. It will take time. But the manager said in his interview, there's a lot of optimism. He, you know, he's, he has faith in these players and it will take time. Well, like you say, they're used to winning. There's the last nine seasons in a nutshell, two Premier League titles and uh, only one season since 2015-16 outside the top five. Uh, and that, of course, was was the mess of last season. In that time, you're throwing in Champions League, domestic honours. Is there going to be the patience, Micah? Uh, I think because of the, the manager, yes. I think he's got a feel-good factor about him. He's a good coach. We, we see what he did at Spurs when he was challenging for the league. It, how long, I, I don't know. But I think over the next 18 months, we'll give a right good go. And don't forget, we've got transfer windows. Come January... If they're there at Bows, they'll, they'll go spend money. Are you talking about the manager in terms of patience? No, I'm just talking about the, the whole project, if you like. The best thing about Chelsea right now is Pochettino. Not the players, not the owners, the manager that they've got. That's the most important man. That's it. When you talk about Chelsea getting back to winning trophies, the best option they've got right now in terms of manager, I don't, I'm not sure they could have got a better manager than what they've got. You know, Pep Guardiola and Jürgen Klopp are at clubs. So Pochettino was the best manager available for them right now. And he is the most important and the best thing about Chelsea right now. So everything around him has to improve. The, the, by project, I mean they've set this course of trying to buy the best young players across world football. If that's going to happen, surely they but, need we, time. We know now that hasn't worked. It's been a mess. It's been a disaster. It hasn't worked. But is this evidence that it's actually getting better, that they are making progress under the right manager? That's because of the manager. So the manager, I think, in terms of the big games, can't get any more out of those group of players. And if they are to get... You asked before how far away they are from Manchester City, the miles away from Manchester City. So would you support they'd... Micah's view that then you have to target more spending oh, in January? 100%. Without... Goalkeeper, striker, centre-back. I think the key is identifying the players that Pochettino wants to play in his system. I think that's the key. When you talk about Liverpool, you talk about Manchester City... I think the players that they go for and the ones they sign typically are ones that are the design of players the manager wants. So I think that's the thing that Chelsea will need now. These, a lot of these signings were obviously before Pochettino got here, so these players aren't really his guys. Yeah. Mm. There's going to be players that will come in, that he'll want, he knows what they can do or he feels he knows what they can do. And I think that's the most important thing now, getting players that he wants to say, yeah, this is the guy I believe that can, can make us uh, you know, fill that space and make the difference.